folks and welcome back so in the next few clips then you'll just see me and my son Jared just completing the footings for the subframe as mentioned in a previous video we're using um, I think they're medium dense concrete blocks they cost under two pound a piece and to my mind this is the easiest quickest most cost effective way of actually installing you know sort of footings for a subframe now you could obviously do this in a number of ways you could build forms fill them with concrete etc but you know it takes time and it's a lot of faffing around you could also put on a concrete base but that requires a little bit more skill it's going to cost more money and it's going to take a lot longer and of course a little bit more expertise and once you've actually done it you've obviously got the curing time as well so this is something you can do without a tremendous amount of expertise and it's certainly cheaper so we've got um, I think we've got about 15 blocks here something of that nature and um, this cost under 30 quid in fact we've actually got about 16 blocks here so 30 so actually you yeah, know still works out about the same about 30 odd quid and this will give a very, providing you make sure that the blocks are nice and level, this will give you a very firm foundation upon which to lay the subframe. And it does take a little bit of time just to make sure the blocks are level, etc. But um, and you won't get it perfect, but you know it. Uh, you get there eventually. So anyway, the next stage was to put some um, a weed barrier on the ground. And there are a number of um, different um, weed barriers on the market, some of which are very cheap indeed. You know, you can get sort of 10 meters for a pound. But the problem is when you look at the reviews, they're very lightweight, um, they're not very durable and they tear very easy indeed. So this is a heavy duty one, costs 38 pound for about 50 um, square meters. So your initial outlay is greater, but it actually does work out more cost effective in the long run. It doesn't tear. And in, this, in the next couple of clips, you'll see that we've actually doubled up this weed barrier. Just one thickness on its own should be more than sufficient but with a permanent structure like this, I just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, we have the greatest possible barrier against weeds, etc. So you can obviously cut this stuff with a standing knife. The blade isn't particularly sharp on this one, or else you can use a big pair of scissors, something like that. It's no big deal. Now it didn't really occur to me until playing back these clips and doing some editing um, whether or not there's a um, you know a right side and a wrong side to lay this stuff down. I don't think there is, so I'm not unduly concerned. And now you'll see us basically just cutting this weed barrier around the blocks in order that it sits as flat as possible on the ground. And this is also a really nice um, way to spend some quality time and um, some productive time with my son. And also, of course, for him to pick up some new skills and learn a little bit more about DIY. And I'm a great believer in getting my son and my partner to help me because these are all very important life skills and you know not only do they give you um, a 
help to improve your sort of skills generally. They also help to build your confidence when you're doing other stuff as well. So here you can see that um, we just left the weed barrier just doubled up on the, you know, on this last bit here. And then we're going to place another thickness on the other side, making sure, of course, that there's a decent overlap. So I think it's fair to say that if the weeds do come through eventually, it's not going to be for a, f a good few years. And certainly will have been long gone, you know, when that happens. Right, so the next stage then was to put a load of pebbles on the um, on the weed barrier. And this was actually very useful because these pebbles um, had about sort of two or three wheelie bins full of pebbles, which I removed from another property. And it does cost to get rid of these if you want to try and recycle them or take them to a local tip. So this was um, an absolutely wonderful opportunity just to get rid of them really. So basically all I did, myself and my son just stuck them in the trailer and just transported them from one property to another. So as you see, you know, as you can see, we're getting there now. Everything's as level as it can be, given our skill set and um, level of expertise. So we've got two thicknesses for wee barrier down, loads of pebbles on there. Things are looking good and we can um, move on to the, the next stage and actually set the subframe on the footings. And as you can see, the subframe has already been made but um, I'll go through that procedure in a separate video. Thank you for watching.